G'day guys. Uh, welcome to a little impromptu training video. Uh, for any of those, for all of our members that are thinking or have already joined up uh, to our Results Gym True Grit Obstacle Course team, um, it's only in about six weeks time guys, just under six weeks. Um, so one of the, um, whenever we take a team through any of these obstacle course events, probably one of the most challenging exercises is the vertical ropes and the traverse ropes. It's those exercises where it's practically an individual effort, um, very difficult to do any teamwork orientated stuff, and probably one of the most challenging exercises that people, or um, obstacles that people come across. So, um, this weekend guys, this Saturday, uh, pretty well straight after the boot camp session, we'll be coming in here and I'll be running a little bit of a training session for those that want to improve on their technique. Uh, still plenty of time, still six weeks to go on the um, vertical ropes and the traverse ropes. So just to give you a little bit of a taste tester, guys, some of the things we'll be teaching you. Essentially, I'm going to teach you the way um, in which I used to train um, the Australian military. Because at the end of the day, it's the most efficient way of climbing a rope. Um, one of the most efficient ways to preserve your upper body strength and lower body strength um, throughout. Yep. So the stronger people, they can go hand over hand, get to the top, ring the bell, come back down, but then they're pretty well spent for the next one. So I'm gonna teach you a safe way. It's a good way to lock in, um, to lock it in. This is pretty well what it's gonna look like, guys. This is what I'm gonna teach you. I'm not gonna go through the technique too much at the moment, but essentially, it's about locking it in, learning how to lock these techniques in. If you're locked in, fine, okay? I'm not even using upper body to be up here. Everything is locked in legs, technique, all the rest of it. Same deal with coming down the rope team, okay? It's the same deal. You've got to lock it in because this is the area where you're most fatigued, okay? So you want to be locking it, okay? Coming down under control, hit the ground, run off to the next obstacle where you're fully, uh, where you haven't even sat too much upper body. Um, now I'm going to show you the traverse ropes, guys. A little bit more technical, but I'm going to teach you a really cool little way to get the traverse ropes done. Alrighty guys, so now we've got the traverse rope. I've just shown you the vertical rope. This is probably the most challenging exercise on the day. This is the one where you continually see people fall in the drink. Um, now, one of the reasons why is because everyone chooses to go underneath the rope. What happens when you go underneath the rope? It just saps your upper body strength. It can be very challenging. Um, our last True Grit last year, um, we got every single girl over the top um, over the ropes, the reason being is I taught these guys how to shuffle across the top of the rope. Crazy, right? Hardly anyone does it. I think we were the only team in True Grid that actually went over the top and we probably had the most success rate. This, once again, is what we teach the Australian Defence Force, Australian soldiers, because they're carrying all that load and it's the most energy efficient. So, are you guys ready to see how to get up on the top of the rope and slide across? because that's exactly what I'm gonna show you what to do now. Easy, right? Okay, to get up here, guys, once you're up here, I'm not using any upper body strength. I'm just sitting here, I can balance, I've got this hanging down as my pendulum or like my wing keel, okay, off the Australia 2 yacht, okay, and I'm here. And all I do now is use my foot and use my upper body, and, and this is what we teach you to do. 